Hello and happy new moon in Pisces today. Okay, I love this energy for us. You know, I was actually just brushing up on my knowledge of Pisces. You know, on the surface, I know Pisces are very intuitive. You guys are very sensitive. Um, not always in a bad way because you wear your heart on your sleeve. And you guys are always reinventing yourself, you know life isn't linear for pisces which i always think is so interesting like you guys are just so interesting anyway if you're a pisces watching this so i wanted to kind of tap into that with understanding of this new moon energy because this reading that we're about to get into is relevant for not only the next two weeks up until the next full moon but also for the next six months because the new moon marks a new cycle up until the full moon in Pisces, which will be uh, August 30th, I just checked, um, of this year. So for the next six months, this is the energy that we're working with. Okay, so let's get into it. What have you released? Seven of pentacles reversed, okay? You've released um, impatience. And this kind of goes along with what I was saying with the temperance for the full moon reading I just had. You called in balance you manifested balance and patience because you released the need to know and have something now you see how he's waiting for his seeds to grow you're not in that space anymore you're like you're like you know what you're in that pisces energy where you're in flow you're like it'll come my manifestations will come when they're supposed to come i love that where are you now? Nine of swords reversed. I won't be surprised because this is a new moon in Pisces if you're really feeling like all in your head and that's starting to affect you um, negatively, like your mental health needs a tune up, okay? Because again, Pisces, uh, we're sensitive in this new moon energy, so you could be really all in your feelings. And depending on what's going on in your life, that really, um, it might be getting to you all right so where are you now you're just trying to organize your i don't even want to say organize your thought that's a really nice way of putting it you're having a moment okay you're having a moment but you need to make sure that you come out of it journal talk to a friend have a therapy session do whatever you need to do have a bath okay go do some retail therapy if you have the coins do whatever you need to do to kind of get yourself back on track so you don't get stuck here okay don't let this uh this water sign energy get a hold of you, all right? It, use it in its positive way to be in flow, right? All right, so what is emerging within you? Oh, love this. The Wheel of Fortune, this is good luck. You see the little dice around her neck? This is positivity. This is life is on your motherfucking side. If you felt like you've been having a negative cycle, if you just feeling like the world is fucking against you, no, this new moon in Pisces is calling in luck, good fortune, good opportunity, um, cycles of completion, you know, things are, you know, on to the next phase, things are looking up. We need that, okay? We need that, especially because I just feel like the energy uh, 2022 was just so difficult. I don't even think it was like, yeah, we're all kind of like past this pandemic, but like literally the cosmic energy of 2022 was rough. It was rough and we, we need some good news, right? Okay, so what do I wish to grow? Strength, this is Leo energy. Okay, we wish to grow our belief in ourself, our courage, our, our uh, abilities, our charisma, our giving, you know? I feel like I, I just keep hearing believe in yourself. I feel like you just want to believe in yourself that you can do it. Like I feel like you're telling yourself, I can do it. I can do it. And you just, you want to you wanna grow that strength where it's locked. You want to have unwavering strength. That's what it feels like for me of what you wish to grow. Okay. And you can, and you will. And that will be something you're working on your confidence in this, this next six months and in these next two weeks as well. How can you bring your goals and intentions to fruition? Knight of Pentacles reversed, okay, babe? So what that means is you're gonna need to stop focusing on, on shit that is not important. Stop getting distracted with projects that really are not that important. And only you can figure out what that is for you, okay? You need to realize what needs your attention and what doesn't. I, and I feel like some of you guys are working on projects as a way of escapism, like focusing on this project because you're good at it is giving you a reason not to start another project that you know 
you need to do that spirit has told you to be working on what's a good example so maybe maybe you this is so i'm gonna use this example maybe you own a bakery right and you're a really good bake baker and you keep burp you know busting out these cupcakes right but spirit has called you to tap into another gift of you know a fashion you can be a baker and you know in fashion like a want to be a fashion designer and you keep putting it off because you're like, oh, well, people want my cupcakes, they need them, and I'm gonna focus it. But you already trained six employees to make these goddamn cupcakes. Focus on your new passion, okay? Life is a journey, life is a cycle. We're meant to evolve, we're meant to grow. You can still have your cupcake business and then try something new, especially in this day and age where no one is really locked in to their one talent, their one career, like, People used to, it used to be like, you got in a job as accountant, you're there for 40 fucking years till you retire. That's not the way our society is anymore. A lot of us are monetizing multiple gifts, multiple talents, and we're not limiting ourselves to just one trade. You know what I'm saying? So that doesn't have to be you. Stop focusing on shit that's already handled. Stop distracting yourself with projects that don't need more attention, okay? What additional resources are available to you as you manifest your goals? We have three of pentacles reversed. You need to be working with other people, collaboration. And right now you, you know that, but you've been trying to do it yourself. So ask yourself, where can I use support? Where can I collaborate with other people? Where can I partner with it? Did y'all see that card? Well, I don't know. I couldn't tell because of the light. <laughs> um, where can you partner with other people collaborate with other people and make sure it's people you like don't just be partnering with people because i said you need to be partnering with people no make sure you like them make sure it's a good relationship make sure it's mutual um so yeah you could be working with other people to advance yourself further uh don't don't think you have to do it all by yourself all right so this is our new moon in Pisces reading. I hope you liked it. If you want a personal new moon reading, you could head to lightworkerwit.com and schedule that. Um, my new moon readings and full moon readings are 30 minutes. First time clients get 10% off. Okay, discount codes are somewhere on my social media. I love you so much. Download Lightworker Woman. Listen to your, your monthly forecast and schedule a private session if you want one. Otherwise, I will see you on these digital streets.